Hey guys, so let's say you want to close a problem and in this case it doesn't really matter where you notice this problem, maybe in the front end monitoring problems or let's say in a monitoring dashboard or you just simply received some sort of email notification. Before to understand like how can we close it, we need to understand what makes it to trigger what what is actually uh, forking this problem to happen and as you may already understand we're talking about the triggers so each trigger and in this case we can take as example the oracle zabbix account will expire uh, soon under seven days each trigger we can click here and move to the configuration has its own problem expression so if we see everything grayed out here, it means that the trigger is templated, but we are right now looking on the host. So if we actually want to do some modifications, then we need to click on the parent triggers, which moves to Oracle by ODBC template. And right now we can edit everything. So this is the expression, which includes the function. So we are taking last received value from Oracle by ODBC template, which will inherit to the host and Oracle user expire password which is an item and if last received value of this item will be less than and this is a user macro oracle expire password minimal warning which stores some sort of the value that will be specific to the host or or it may be the global setting so when this item will receive a value that will be less than this user macro we will see the problem we will see the problem in the monitoring problems page where we actually noticed it and let's say we want to close the problem right we don't want to see it in our dashboard we want to hide it from everybody's eyes so as long as we have a trigger that is actually monitoring um, this host, as long as we have an item and the trigger in a combination that both are enabled, even if we will close the host right now, next time when this item will receive a new value and if it will be still less than this user macro, we will have still a new problem. So be careful like if you want to close some sort of snmp trap item or the log item that just received one problem line that matches this expression a week ago and the problem still remains active because we don't have any recovery expression then we can use a very simple trick or just a functionality within the zabbix allow manual close so if we would go back to the monitoring problems and let's say we want to close this one that we were looking as example the account will expire soon after seven days we could just click here on the acknowledgement column where we don't have any acknowledgement uh, for now so click here and you can see there is a close problem tick which is currently grayed out and we don't have any option to click on it but again don't worry it's very easy to fix it uh, if our trigger does not allow to close the problem we can once again just go back to the trigger configuration and you can see the same allow manual close which is again grayed out but this is only because uh, we need to make this change on the template level not on a single host so we need to go to the oracle by odbc template and you see now we can actually tick allow manual close and click update after that we can go back to the monitoring problem section uh, search for our oracle uh, servers host group there is our problem which is active right now in a problem so zabbix account will expire soon under seven days we can click here and just close problem uh, and let's uh, leave some sort of message that uh, resolved right we fixed the problem we want to acknowledge only this one and most important we want to close it click update there you go right now the server will receive a new task that he has to close this problem and also important that let's say if we have a problem event not the problem event status it is not going to change from problem to okay the zabbix server will generate a new event which will be the which will be the recovery and now we can see that it is resolved and the problem is closed so if we click uh, refresh it is resolved and by user admin zabbix administrator with a message that it is resolved but again remember we have expression on the trigger so if next time 
let's say this item has an update interval for five minutes. If after five minutes, this item will receive a value that will be less than a value we have specified in the user macro, so the expression will be true. Again, it will generate a new problem event and we will see a new problem in our dashboard or in the monitoring problems view and all the um, users will receive their notifications in an email. So if that's the case, if we're not talking about SNMP traps monitoring or the log monitoring where you don't have any recovery expression, then you simply must edit uh, the problem expression. Figure out is it really a problem? Maybe you just want to increase the uh, minimal amount of the days before the password is expired when you want to receive receive the warning or maybe you just downloaded this template from the community and you don't want to be notified about it about this message at all then you can just delete this trigger or let's say disable it and the trigger will the problem will not come back so pretty simple with the manual close of the problem if you want to get rid of them don't forget to enable this feature functionality on the trigger configuration and then from the monitoring problems or from the monitoring dashboards you can easily close your existing problems